everybody, welcome back to my videos. Today I am off work, well I'm actually off work this entire week, so I thought it'd be a great opportunity to make a video. And I am going to be making Paul Hollywood's brownies today. So he was on the Great British Bake Off if you didn't know, and he's just up there with the top bakers isn't he? So I thought I would put his brownie mix to the test and see if they're actually any good. So let's go make them. So you join me in my kitchen once again. It is a glorious day outside. And here is the packet of mix. It is Paul Hollywood Luxurious Belgian Chocolate Brownies. And I think it makes about 25 or something. But in each square there is 155 calories. So I mean, if you're on a diet, probably not the best mix to make yourself. But um, you will need for this 150 grams of unsalted melted butter, three medium eggs and a tin and an electric mixer. The size of the tin has to be 25 by 20 centimetres. Now I should have probably checked before I started doing this video but I don't know if my square tin is that big and I don't know if we've got any butter so <laughs> fingers crossed, let's check. So luckily we have some butter, however my square slash rectangular tins are not the same size as Paul's. So should I use this one, which is 20 by 15 centimeters, or these two, which are 18 by 18, or just go for a circle one, which is like 20? I literally have no idea. I'm sure I'll try and find something. <laughs> just kept them all out and I'll decide when I've done the mixture, I think. So the first step on the back of the packet is preheat my oven. We've got a fan oven, so I'll put it to 170 and then I need to, well, it doesn't tell you to melt the butter, but that's what I need to do first. Okay, so using the measurements on the packet and not scales because I'm lazy, I am now going to chop this up, put it into this bowl and put it in the microwave so it will melt. Yummy. <laughs> It then wants me to beat the eggs, so I'm going to crack three eggs into this bowl and just beat them. Okay, so my eggs and my butter is now complete, and the next step is to empty all of your brownie mix into the bowl. And then once this is in the bowl, I need to mix it with the butter. And I was going to use a electric mixer like it has on the packet, but I can't find the attachments and things. So it's going to have to be the KitchenAid today. And I don't know if this is the right attachment, but it's going to have to do. So let's do this. So that is how much mixture was in the packet. And I'm now going to add the melted butter. And then I'm going to get this going. Now I'm just going to add my eggs. Now this does smell incredibly luxurious, however I'm not sure that mine is going to be as pourable as Paul is making out. So I don't know if I should add some like milk or something or just get it in there and see how pourable it actually is because mine's more like cake mix rather than, I don't know, just doesn't look very pourable at the moment. <laughs> hmm. Okay so I added a little bit of milk and now I'm going to line one of my tins. You also need to grease your tin. So I'm going to do that before I put the grease proof paper in. In goes my terribly cut grease proof paper. I've cut the edges just to try and slot it in a bit easier but it's not really working. <laughs> Paul, if you have any masterclass on how to put grease proof paper into a tin, please let me know. <laughs> I have to get so low to be in this shot, but it's time to pour the mixture into the tin. Here goes. So 
I don't know if you can see that, but that's how much mixture I've got left after using that small square tin. So I don't think there's enough to fill another square tin, so I might just have to put it in like a little circular one or something. Right, I'm going to use this one, not exactly brownie shape, but it'll have to do. In she goes. At last, took a little bit longer than I thought, but um, I've got one square tray and one little circle tray. I'm gonna put these in the oven now at 170 degrees because it's a fan oven for about half an hour, I think, because I read some reviews and they were saying that 25 minutes wasn't long enough, so half an hour ish, I'm gonna put them in for. They are after 28 minutes. Now they look okay, but let me prod something in them to see if they're actually done or not. I don't know, it's quite spongy. It looks done. Looks more like cake though. <laughs> Let's go with that. I've messed up a little bit. <laughs> so I just read the packet after cutting them and it says leave to cool before cutting into squares. So you're actually meant to let it cool before you cut it but never mind. And then the second reason why I've messed up is because Paul has put here my perfect chocolate brownie should be cracked on top with a slight moist centre. Now I've got the crack Sounds a bit strange. I've got the crack, but I don't have the moist centre. It's more cake-esque. So here they are. Loads of little squares, and then that was obviously my circular tin. It's made quite a lot. Then again, they're not actually too big squares. So I'm just going to add some cocoa powder or icing sugar. I'm not sure which is best, but I'm going to add one of those, not both of them, onto the top just to give them a little bit more flavour, I think. So I've had a look online and no way has given me a straight answer. So I'm just going to put icing sugar and cocoa powder together, sprinkle it on the brownies and hope for the best. Icing sugar, cocoa powder. Here we are, it just looks like a light cocoa powder now, but I've put both of them in there and I'm just going to shake it on my brownies. This could be a legit shot from the Bake Off. <laughs> Let's hope they taste nice now. <laughs> Okay, so now it is the important part where I get to taste these lovely brownies and tell you what I think and see if I think they're up to Paul's Bake Off standard. So this is the one I've gone for. I've gone for one from the circular tin. It's quite a chunky piece, but I'm hungry, so here it goes. Not too bad, I suppose. They do really taste more like cake than brownies though. Out of 10, I'd probably give this a seven. Like it's all right if you like cakey brownies, but I prefer the gooey ones. I mean, I only paid two pounds for the kit. It wasn't like proper ingredients. It was just a dry mix. So yeah, seven out of 10. So I've decided to stack them up and put them in my cake dough and it kind of looks like they belong in a shop now so if anybody wants to buy them off me feel free <laughs> just joking <laughs> anyway yes i should probably put these down before i drop them thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was of some use to you if you're looking to buy this or was just interested in if it was any good or not as i say seven out of ten from me but it might vary depending on your preferences and yeah, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you'd like me to do any more. I might start doing a series actually where I test like Betty Crocker like mixes from packets and things just to see if they're any good and then give you my feedback, see if you buy them and whatever. So yeah, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!